with a telephoto lens, amateur photographer Sam Davis got some shots of a lifetime, showing a live snake eel bursting out of a heron's digestive tract in midair. Herons are known for gulping down their food whole. It appears that this heron did just that with a snake eel, which then began fighting for its life by using its hard head to burrow out of the heron. Despite its confusing name, snake eels are not snakes. They're eels, which in essence means they're fish. Snake eels can likely tolerate low oxygen environments, which helps them when they use their hard heads and tails to burrow through sediments on the ocean floor. This particular snake eel was arching its body as it struggled to exit the heron, meaning it was still alive when Davis was taking the photos. Davis wasn't the only one tracking the heron and eel. He noticed some juvenile eagles and a fox following the unusual duo. Perhaps these predators thought the heron was a goner and were hoping to scavenge an easy meal. However, the heron looked surprisingly unbothered by the ordeal. In a study published earlier this year, researchers detailed how snake eels can burrow out of the guts of fish that prey on them. But they usually don't get very far, ending up in the fish's body cavity, muscle tissue, or swim bladder. Once stuck, they become mummified or encysted, which basically means closed up in a cyst, and die rather than escape, according to John Poganowski, an ichthyologist at the Australian National Fish Collection, who wasn't involved with the heron and snake eels encounter. While snake eels are known to burst out of fish, it's fairly rare to see them burrowing out of birds, which makes this episode a pretty amazing sight, Poganowski said. I would think this is either very rare or very rarely seen in a bird species, at least as far as I am aware, he said. It's unknown what happened to this heron and eel because Davis left shortly after taking the photos. But according to Poganowski, it's possible the heron survived so long as its neck wound healed. As for the snake eel, it doesn't look too good in some of the photos, but if it managed to drop in water with the right salinity, it's possible it made it.